now in the previous video this mrp run also we executed for the requirement of our material with this planning scenario triple nine now go for this second how we are going to transfer from mrp requirement to our cost cost center with activity type that is a transition code is the kspp transition code KSPP is the our transition code. Our transition means FICO CO transition code. Transfer planned activity requirements for production. We generated requirement of a production every month by MRP run MS02. That how much we are going to convert every month with respect to production cost center to with respect to activity type. That we are going to execute by this. KSPP, say so transfer planned activity requirements for production. Transfer planned requirement quantity of production. Here, yeah, we need to give, first select plant, remote extern, or center with the activity type select. Go for transfer control. Okay, click on new entries. Here, give our plant SRCC version 0 2022. Select our long term planning. Here, planning scenario need to be select our long term planning scenario 399. Save. Enter. Okay back this one we created this is the back one step again first screen will come then version 8 to 12 2022 now we have to give per period version 12 go for environment flexible transfer here system will take automatically plant under long term planning triple one parameters 0 and 8 to 12 first make it is a test run then execute. Yeah, like this. Process without a detail list. See here. Automatically, quantities will come into picture. And see here, if you go and check in KP27, display of cost center with activity type. For this cost center with our all activity types. Okay, all activity types means we need to add diesel also. KLH2. These are also I'm going to add here. Save. Activity type form based here. See here, I, did, I gave for temporary for this one. Here, 10, 10, 10 for quantity. But this, how much of a quantity means? This quantity is an exact requirement of a cost center with activity, 2,000 for five months. Labor is a 1,500 hours for five months. 2,500, 1,500. This will come into picture. Okay, how this will come, <clears throat> how much of a, so for example is the diesel. For diesel, what is the CA03, enter. For taking a diesel is the four. How much of a total production, total production is the 500. 500 into two is a 500 suppose 500 into 4 2000 500 into 5 mission hours 2500 mission hours 500 into 3 1500 500 into 2000 is a kilowatt system is going to calculate based on the how much of we gave her given 500 each 500 quantity multiplied with here how this will come 500 quantity multiplied with the routing. This is a SOP. 
where we have given this one data in KEPM multiplied with the routing, this data will come into picture. If it is everything is data is there here, make it here this screen. See here, this is schedule activity all zeros. Here also you can observe. Once data is coming to picture, back, remote Ashton, go for cost center. If you want to material wise also, select material, flexible transfer, come down, remote Ashton, cost center with activity type, execute. Long term planning, triple nine hours. Execute. Detail list. Okay, one second. No, sorry. Remote is done. Flexible transfer. Remote is done. Material and select plant. Detail list here. This cost center activity type with the material also system is going to convert like this data. This one transferred plan accurate requirements for production. See here we can observe 2500 501 quantity. This is going to updated in our KP26 to first year schedule activity not here first one first schedule activity this is going to update once removed of this one and one more step is the next that will go go back remote test done flexible transfer triple nine remove execute detail list Okay, now once execution, then we need to do reconcile. What is the reconcile? Just reconcile means what? Here we have given some data is a temporary plan data. How much of a quantity we have given? That quantity multiplied with this one. Which one? How much of a routing for this one? Here, five machinery, three labor, Two is a power, four is the, this one. Quantity for each activity, 500, 500. Then what is this one? 500 into five, 2,500, this one. This is the scheduled activity, proposed activity. Then already we gave a some temporary activity all for 10, 10, 10. Year 10 we have given, year 10. Then if I run execution of transaction code KPSI, this is a reconciliation will come. Reconciliation means this one. This is I have given is a temporary in KB26. This is the coming from data, this one. Now reconciliation means 2500 minus 10 per missionary like this will come data. This is the reconciliation. Execution by the KPSI will come. We will see this transition code. Reconciliation means this data will come. Go for KPSI. Here, no cost centers. Okay, same, even one cost center also. I will make it as a create one cost center. What is the cost center? SRCC1. Even one cost center also because of uh, there is no option to create, there is no option to give two cost center here. So I am going to give the here cost center group itself is a cost center. Same, zero. 8 12 2022 make it as a first test and would execute see here this is a plan activity which was given in kp26 initial time 
This is the new plan activities coming from SOP transferred, 2000, all this one. And that difference, 2000 minus 10, that data is a activity difference, is a reconciliation. This data. Whatever we have executed, new 490, or 49, this is a reconciliation. This amount is going to add it to the plan activity of this without to test mode. If you run, this amount is going to add it to this, then this is going to equal. Okay, first go for this one. I didn't see. Go back, see here. Then execute. See here, schedule activity will come. This is a when this will come after KSPP. Because of this is a still in test mode only. I didn't update it mode. I didn't run updated mode. So this is the when it is going to updated in KP26, KSPP transaction code run. This transaction code run, it is going to update it last to column of KP26. Once reconciliation, this is going to update it here after test mode. So go back. CO assignment, okay. RKP2. This is a transaction code missed out. I think KANK. RKP2 is the transaction code, is the missed out. Plan activities. Select, save. Go back. Again, KPSI transition code. Reconciliation of a plan activities. Remote as done and execute. Updated run without errors. Now go and check here. This 1500, 2500 is going to update it here. Give one more session. KP27. Just execute. See here. This is the exact requirement now. See, same schedule quantity. This is going to update it here 10 or 20. We have given some temporary that delta is going to add it to KP26. Now, this is the delta. This is a reconciliation. This is going to add it here. That will go and update here. This one. Okay. This is the planned activity, is a requirement from. SOP transferred for SOP first. We need to run a KEPM. From there to we can transfer to KE1E. From there to MC88. MC88 is nothing but a rough cut planning. Then transfer to demand management here production. Planning scenario MRP run. That is going to update at our cost center. These are transition codes. And further settings, whatever we are going to do, those settings I'm going to update it here. Which one? No, no. Okay, this data already there required here, not required. Okay, now further settings, how we are going to do transactions with uh, like uh, KP06 uh, case, that is a normal activity that we will go for further settings. Understand, na? first this is the most important that a plan and activity also, we need to bring from COPA plan. Exact the requirement, how much of a requirement that is we are going to bring from COPA plan itself only. That is our main concept. We will see further settings like transition settings. 